Welcome back to our channel, where we delve into the intriguing lives of influential personalities. Today, we unfold the captivating narrative of Renat Akhmatov, Ukraine's wealthiest tycoon, football mogul, and philanthropist. From his opulent lifestyle to his expansive football empire and controversial political involvement, this is the untold story of Renat Akhmatov in 2023. Akhmatov's extensive portfolio encompasses major assets that have played a pivotal role in shaping Ukraine's industrial and financial landscape. Medinvest, at the core of Akhmatov's empire, is Medinvest, a mining and metallurgical powerhouse. Operating globally, Medinvest is a major contributor to the production of iron ore, coal, coke, steel, and semi-finished products. It stands not only as Ukraine's largest private company, but also as one of the world's leading steel producers, with operations spanning Ukraine, Europe, Asia, North America, and Africa. DTEK, a prominent player in the energy industry, DTEK, under Akhmatov's leadership, owns coal mines, power plants, distribution networks, and renewable energy sources. DTEK holds the distinction of being Ukraine's largest private energy company, exerting significant influence in Central and Eastern Europe. It occupies top positions in electricity and coal production within Ukraine, contributing substantially to the nation's energy landscape. First Ukrainian International Bank, FUIB in the financial sector, Akhmatov's footprint extends through FUIB, a finance giant offering a comprehensive range of banking, insurance, leasing, and asset management services. FUIB holds a significant position in Ukraine, ranking among the largest banks in terms of assets and deposits. Its reputation as one of the country's most profitable and reliable banks underscores Akhmatov's success in navigating the financial domain. Uka Telecom, as a major player in the telecommunications sector, Uka Telecom, under Akhmatov's ownership, provides fixed line, mobile, broadband, and digital TV services nationwide. Holding titles such as the largest fixed line operator and the second largest broadband provider in Ukraine, Uka Telecom stands out as the nation's sole national telecom operator, contributing to the connectivity fabric of the country. ESTA Holding, a real estate giant, ESTA Holding, plays a crucial role in the development, management, and investment in commercial and residential properties. Agmatov's influence in this sector extends both within Ukraine and internationally. ESTA Holding owns and operates shopping malls, office buildings, hotels, and residential complexes, establishing itself as one of Ukraine's largest real estate developers and investors. Let's kick things off by exploring the extravagant lifestyle of Renat Akhmatov. With a net worth of $5.7 billion, he is no stranger to luxury. Akhmatov's real estate portfolio includes a French villa, Villa Les Cedres, purchased for a staggering $221 million, boasting 14 bedrooms, botanical gardens, and an Olympic-sized swimming pool. In London, he owns a record-breaking penthouse in Knightsbridge, purchased for $221 million in 2011. And if that wasn't enough, Akhmatov is set to make waves in 2024 with his $500 million yacht, Project Luminance, a 476-foot masterpiece equipped with lavish accommodations for 24 guests and a 40-person crew. We transitioning to Akhmatov's influence in the realm of sports, particularly football, we explore his ownership and presidency of Shakhtar Donetsk. Under his leadership since 1996, Shakhtar Donetsk has become a football powerhouse, clinching 13 Ukrainian Premier League titles, 13 Ukrainian Cup titles, and securing the UEFA Cup in 2009. The club's market value stands at 106 million euros, and its home ground, Arena Lviv, accommodates 34,725 spectators. We dive into Agmatov's role in steering the team to success, nurturing talented players, and solidifying his status as a figure of opulence and influence in the football world. Now, let's shine a light on the controversy surrounding Renat Akhmatov. 
from allegations of corruption and tax evasion to his involvement in the 2014 Ukrainian crisis, Agmatov's political journey has been far from smooth. We dissect the accusations of collaboration with both sides during the conflict in Donbass and the subsequent loss of control of assets in occupied territories. The legal battle against Russia at the European Court of Human Rights and the confrontations with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky add layers of complexity to Akhmatov's controversial narrative. We delve into the intricacies of these controversies and the impact on Akhmatov's reputation in the tumultuous political landscape of Ukraine. Ukraine's wealthiest businessman, Renat Akhmatov, shifts $400 million loan amid Russia-Ukraine war, files lawsuit for compensation at European Court of Human Rights. In a strategic financial move against the backdrop of escalating tensions between Russia and Ukraine, Renat Akhmatov, the influential owner of DTEK, a prominent energy company and Ukraine's wealthiest individual, has executed a significant financial maneuver. Akhmatov orchestrated the transfer of a substantial $400 million loan from Russia's Spurbank to one of his subsidiary entities. This move, while raising eyebrows given the geopolitical context, lacks direct evidence linking Akhmatov to the Russia-Ukraine conflict. It's important to note that the transfer of funds appears to be a business decision rather than an indication of personal involvement in the ongoing war. Despite being a high-profile figure in Ukraine, Akhmatov has not been implicated in any direct role in the geopolitical strife between the two nations. The loan transfer, though conspicuous, seems to be part of a broader financial strategy within the business landscape. In a parallel development, Renat Akhmatov has taken a bold legal step by filing a lawsuit against Russia at the European Court of Human Rights, ECHR. This legal action is centered on seeking compensation for the economic losses suffered by Akhmatov's business interests as a result of Moscow's invasion of Ukraine. The lawsuit underscores the complex interplay between economic interests and the geopolitical dynamics of the region. As this situation unfolds, it prompts a deeper exploration into the intersection of business, finance, and the geopolitical landscape shedding light on the challenges faced by prominent figures like Renat Akhmatov amid the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict. In conclusion, Renat Akhmatov's story is one of opulence, success in football, and entanglement in political controversies. His journey from a coal miner's son to Ukraine's wealthiest individual is marked by luxury, philanthropy, and a commitment to his homeland. However, the controversies that surround him highlight the complex intersections of business and politics in a region grappling with geopolitical turmoil. As we continue to follow the life of Renat Akhmatov, one thing remains certain, his influence extends far beyond the football field and the boardroom, shaping the narrative of Ukraine's modern history. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the life of Renat Akhmatov. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive content.